What's going on today, Internet Selfish here? I've had to put a couple hard drives in people's computers recently because they don't know how to do it, so I thought I would take a couple minutes, make a really quick video so it'd be fast and easy for anybody else to be able to do it. So let's jump into it. I'm going to toss up some stats here and go through them as I'm getting everything set up, aka pulling out my screwdrivers so we can put this all together. Let's just quick go over what we got here today. We got an Ace Magician AM06 Pro. It's a dual LAN mini PC. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7 5800U. It's 8 cores, 16 threads, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 512 NVMe SSD is the internal memory. It's got Windows 11 Pro, 4K triple display outputs. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth dual channel. Hooking it up with the Crucial MX500, it's a two terabyte 3D NAD, 2.5 inch internal SSD that runs at 560 megabytes per second. Let's go. As you can see here, this device doesn't have a whole lot of IO, which is totally fine because we can just hook it up with a USB hub for USB 3.0 for our external hard drive, along with individual power buttons for each USB port. If we want to use external controllers, we can put this outside of the cabinet. Now this particular mini PC has only four screws holding it together. They're right here on the bottom. I'm gonna speed up time here real quick so that you don't have to watch me do all some screwing. There's so many jokes about screwing, but I'm not exactly sure what the new policy rules are these days. Keep in mind, if you're doing a traditional desktop, you're actually gonna be opening the full case, but all the steps are the same. Anytime I open up a new PC, I just do a little shakedown, make sure nothing's disconnected, nothing's loose, no wires are hanging out where they're not supposed to be. This right here is the RAM that's in the device. Just make sure that that's tight in there. And then hiding up on the top over here, that's the original 512 SSD NVMe that's in the device. It has one little spot for a screw. All you gotta do is pull that out and put a new one in if you wanna do that instead of a two and a half inch. For your desktop users, it might be very similar if you already have memory there that you're just upgrading. Now I'm gonna just take a quick little peek here with this ribbon cable. I'm pretty sure, yep, I definitely found the spot where we're gonna plug this ribbon cable in. So I just wanna test everything out, make sure it's good to go. The ribbon cable is pretty much the only fragile part of this entire operation. If you're gonna screw something up, it's going to be in the ribbon cable itself. So just make sure everything fits snugly. Make sure you are very careful when you plug and unplug it. Use the tweezers if you have one and then take it out and then get it mounted on the bottom of the cover. There is a front and back on this cover, so the hard drive will only fit in one direction. And I left a little bit of video in here of me struggling, just so that you don't feel bad about yourself struggling and trying to figure out which direction it goes. At this point, we already know where we're plugging it in. We've got it mounted. Just double check, make sure that everything's tight. Everything's where it needs to be. Go back to the little flappy door thing that we figured out that the cable fits in before. Get your cable in there good and secure. And then once it's in there good and secure, close the door on that bad boy. As you can see, I initially closed it with my finger and then just to double check, I grabbed a tool uh, to make sure that it was in there good and then gave it a little pull to make sure that it didn't come out. Now we're gonna play a little game of push the lid down without breaking the cable. Honestly, the cable's not going to break. Just be, keep in mind that there is a front to it. It does say front on the top of the lid. So if you are confused, you can find where it says front up there. If you're doing this on a tower, likely this won't be an issue for you because you'll just be sliding it directly into the serial port. Insert more jokes about screwing here. But on the reel, don't over tighten. So tighten all these screws down and then go back a quarter turn just to make sure that you're not cracking any plastic. Once you know everything fits together good, it's good and tight. It's exactly the way that it felt before you took it all apart. It's time to plug this bad boy back into power and to your monitor. If you did everything right, it should just boot right up like it did before we put this hard drive in. Man, did I get frustrated here. Apparently, I don't know how to spell disk management. I seem to have spelled it just fine when I searched the help files to make sure I was doing everything correctly. This is honestly the first time I put in a hard drive on a Windows 11 machine. I'm like, yeah, let's make a tutorial. Once you pass today's spelling bee, then you're gonna get a little pop-up asking if you wanna format it so it'll work with your computer. And you say, yes, of course. Once that bubble goes away, click on the unallocated drive, which is black here, you can see it on my screen. And just like that, it's a magic trick. Another box pops up. Go through this and answer all the questions and then name your drive something more creative than I did. Once it's done doing its thing, boom, another pop-up. If you wanna be real nitpicky and make sure that it actually worked, hit the PC tab and scroll down to the drive you named to make sure it's there. You know what? You just installed a hard drive. Didn't even know you were doing anything, did you? Please do me a favor and comment, rate, and subscribe. Actually, share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Thank you for spending all this time with me. I can't wait till we do it again. Do it again.